so this is the uh, second question related to sop don't care k map simplification so we have the boolean expression here given in terms of the sum of min terms and the don't care values so we'll mark the cells under the min term bracket as 1 and those under the don't care bracket as x so 1 2 5 7 will be marked as 1 0 4 6 will be marked as x okay so now we will form the groups now here we can form a quad involving cells 4 5 7 6 and then we will uh, form another quad involving 0 1 4 5 and then another quad involving cells 0 4 2 6 okay so we have formed the groups now we have to identify the common cells so please pay attention for this group this quad involving cells 4 5 7 and 6 okay 4 5 7 6 for this quad the common variable is a now for this quad involving cells 0 1 4 5 0 1 4 5 for this the common variable nothing on the horizontal side and the vertical side we have b bar so b bar then the last quad involving cells 0 4 2 and 6 for them nothing on the horizontal side common the vertical side we have c bar common here or c bar here c bar so this this is the simplified boolean expression okay so this is the second question related to sop k map simplification for don't care values so this is the uh, third question related to uh, sop k map uh, with don't care condition so here we have the boolean expression which is given in terms of the min term values sum of min term values and the don't care values so 0 1 6 7 these are the values under the min term bracket so those will mark as 1 0 1 6 7 3 4 5 these cells will be marked as x because they are under the don't care bracket 3 4 5 okay now we have to form groups so one group which can be formed is forming a quad with this cells 4 5 6 and 7 next we can form a quad involving cells 0 1 4 5 now please pay attention here by forming the groups we have covered all the cells which were marked as one now you see this x marked cell it is left behind okay this cell marked as three okay which is marked as x that is left behind now here the under the don't care condition rule we don't have to form a group to cover this x marked cell if it is left behind if it is left behind if it is not coming under any group then there is nothing there is uh, no need to include it at any group or to 
form another group to accommodate this X marked cell because it is a don't care cell. I have already uh, said that the don't care cells they assist in group formations. We can include them to form groups to cover the one marked cells or zero marked cells but we don't have to form an extra group to accommodate an X marked cell if it is left behind. If all the one marked cells or zero marked cells in this case it is SOP that's why the one marked cells if all the one marked cells are accommodated they have been covered in group, group formations and an X marked cell is left behind then there is no need to form another group to include that X marked cell we'll just leave it like that okay that is the concept of the X marked cells the don't care cells in simplification okay so now we have to form the groups so for this quad involving cells 0 1 4 5 the common variable is nothing on the horizontal side in the vertical side we have B bar okay for this quad involving cells 4 5 6 7 it is A on the horizontal side nothing on the vertical side so it is A or B bar that is the simplified boolean expression so I hope you got the point related to this left out X marked cell there is no need to form an extra group to include this X marked cell okay so this is the uh, third question